Franklin. My name is Kim Gamer, and welcome to Monument Valley. This is a very fun puzzle game that I've played my entire, um, I've played this myself the entire way through. Now I will be playing it for you. I'm just going to start with level one. So you see here, it's kind of just like an illusion. You tap on the path to move Ida. Ida is the little girl, and then you get up here to complete the level. This was just like a tutorial. Monument Valley. Let's start. This is a really fun game. Level 2. Luckily this game doesn't have ads, so we won't be interrupted by any ads. Chapter 2, The Garden. So for this level, you first need to get Ida, you need to move this platform for Ida to go on this button over here. The music for this game is just like so amazing, but it's also blocking out my voice, so I need to turn it down a little. Now, you can get Ida over here. Have her go actually over here is the next thing you want to do. Some of these I remember answers to, some of them I don't, so. And then you can get Ida to go over on this button, which will raise this. Now you might be thinking, now how do I get this down here? The answer is, it's illusion. That's how you do it. And then you can just complete the level. And... We get a cube. In every level, you get a trophy at like the end. And um, for this one, it's the cube. The first one, I forgot what it was. You can see the, um, which one, that's gonna have to do the same thing. You can see it, like, right above the level, you see how there's, like, a symbol? That's what it was. This one wasn't anything, that was just a tutorial. But let's go to level three. Hidden Temple. On these platforms, Ida can actually move while she's on it, so I can do something like this. I'm gonna get Ida over there. As soon as she's on the platform, we can do that. Uh, get into there. It's hard to actually notice that this thing moves right here, so I was actually a little confused by myself when I first did this. Hit the button, then you can get Ida to go into here. Then you might be thinking, now where does this door lead if there's no other doors on the thing? It actually leads to a whole new structure. And it leads to this girl, which, uh, I will tell you who she is when we, once we get there. Long have these old bones waited in darkness. How far have we wandered, silent princess? Where, why are you here? So basically, she asks you different questions. And she gives you hints about the game. So now, after you've done talking to her, you open up the rest of the level. Let's get Ida to move up here. Now, as soon as she steps, well, well there, that's gonna go away. But as soon as Ida steps on this platform right here, well, as soon as she starts to go close to it, it falls. I might be thinking, how does this work? The answer is, you need to get Ida right on top of this, and get her over there. And you can get Ida over there, move her onto this platform, bring her up, hit the button, which will complete the level.
And we get a cube inside a cube. Complete. You can take a screenshot at that camera button at the top. You can take a screenshot if you want. Now, the reason this game doesn't have ads is because it's not like one of those free games. It's one of the games that actually costs money. That's why it doesn't have ads. Loading. Water Palace. Oh, this is one of my favorite levels. I remember this one. This was one of my favorites. So for this one, you want to get, first of all, get right up here. Oh, I remember this one being a tricky one. I hope you remember everything, so if I don't, it's really tricky. I'm going to get it over there, and then move it right there. Oh, gee, oh, weird. Oh, you want to, first of all, get her there, and then get her there. Which will allow you to do that. Then you can move over here. Have I to go right here. And then turn it around, and then go through that door. Which will take you over here, which brings you to a whole other structure. Okay. So first of all, you want to hit this button. That allows Ida to walk up walls now. You can move her over here, like so. And then, oh, what do you do from here? I think you have to, oh, you go over here. I actually forget. Okay. Mm. Huh. Oh, I forgot. This one can actually move. I totally forgot about that. That's what I was stuck on the first time I was playing this level. And that will allow you to go over here. And then that drops down there. And then you can get to the back of this level. So you want to go over here. And then it connects. Then you can go over there. And now you can come over here to hit the button, which takes you to another place, which is over here. Now we can get Ida to go over here, turn that, we can go over here. Then, you might be wondering what do we do? Well, we, first of all, we take her there, and then we can take her over here. And then do you know what this thing turns? And then you can get her through the door. Which will take you to another one of these guys. Let's talk to her. And what will she say this time? This was the Valley of Men. Now all that remains are our mountains, stripped of their glories. Thieving princess, why have you returned? Now that we're not talking to her, we can go over here. Through the door. And over here. Where is she? Oh, there. There's Arda. You can take this and then complete the level. Some of these levels are going to be long, some of them are going to be harder than others, some of them are going to be easy. And I forget what that shape's called. Complete. See if you tap this button right here, it'll take a photo. Okay, it's loading. Now we go into level, what was that level, was that like... That was level what? Uh, that was level four. So wait, that was level yeah, that was level four, level five. Forgetting what all the Roman num um, numerals stand for. Chapter five: The Spear. Oh, this is where you meet the totem. So if you talk to these crows, they just tell you to go away. This one, you have to actually be kind of careful. First of all, you want. No, you don't want to go. The troll will scare you, and then you can come over here. And that activates that. 
which will allow you to move the platforms like this. Let's go over here, and you have to wait for the crow to get back over here, and then you come. Okay, so right over here, what you want to do is you actually want to do that. How do you do this? Oh, you have to be quick about it. When you hit that button. Which, oh yeah, that does that, okay. Now I remember this level. It's not quite the end of the level. Not quite yet. It's just the door, it's not the end. So, now you can go through the door. Well, after Ida's done walking you through it. And then go in here. Oh, I remember this thing, this is hard. So you actually want to trap the crow. Like that. This thing's hard because, see this crow where my mouse is? It's hard to figure out how to avoid that crow. What you really want to do, though, is this. You want to let the crow come over here. First of all, you want to trap you. But you want to yeah, get rid of you. Then have Ida walk over here. Up here. Like right there. Then you have to turn it around and get it down. So the crow can walk past. Then you want to trap it, get it in, and then it'll walk in here. And you can trap it and get through the door. I actually don't remember what comes after this. Oh yeah, I remember this now. Now I remember it. So you want to come up here and then go over there. But let's stay on the stairs so the crows don't send us back at all. And you wanna- oh no. And you wanna go through the door. Which will take you... Over- over here. Then you can go- get the crow to go over there and trap it. And then get through this door. Then, after you're going through that door, that door will take you over here. Which means you get the crow right here. Then you can trap it like that. Wait, how do you do this part? Oh, you trap it like this. And then you can get Ida to go through this door. Then after you got Ida through that door, oh my mouse was still there that entire time. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Um, right here you want to get Ida to go over here. I feel like I just skipped a whole ton of this level. I don't know. Yeah, I did skip a ton. I feel like I just skipped a ton of this level somehow. Uh, how do you do this? You get Ida over here. Oh right, yeah, this though is. Like that orange thing. I feel like there was more on that orange thing that I just missed out on. Hope I didn't miss out on anything. I do plan on doing a 100% playthrough on this game. One, because it's really fun. Two, because it's just a game that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I finally got the chance to do it. And you can get Ida. To go over there. And then you complete the level. For this one, you get a 3D triangle thing. I'm gonna take a capture. Uh, punch to do. Punch? I'm punching the thing and it's not doing anything. I don't really know. Complete. And let's move on to the next level. This game is. This game only has 10 levels and then the forbidden levels. So it may be like a 1 two episode series for the regular levels, but let's move on to level, what level is this? Uh, six? Seven? I don't know. The Labyrinth. Oh, I remember, oh, this is, this is level seven, I believe. This is actually, there are some sad things in this, um, game. And that brings out a new friend. You meet the Totem Pole. He is your new friend. He can help you. 
complete different things. First of all, you want to get this, and then you'll rise up. There wasn't much puzzle in this part. But, now, you use the totem pole on this level. You will use it until you, the totem pole leaves. Which, you know, this game is pretty sad. It's, you haven't gotten to the sad points just yet. So how do you do this? Oh, you have to first walk off that, then get totem over there, and then hold down this so that totem can go over here. Then you can go over here. I'll wait till Ida's done moving. And then bring the totem pole over here. How do you get that button? I don't know, but then you and Ida can go over there. And then the totem oh wait, yeah, that's how you get it. The totem pole gets it. You don't get it, the totem does. And then you can use the totem pole to make a bridge the door. And you're thinking, oh no, will the toy, the, will the, what, wrong word, will the totem pole, um, be left behind? That is no. The answer is no. It just rides on the outside. And it'll take us over here. Which will allow the totem pole to go over here. And that brings up Ida. Well, what do you do here? I forget. Oh, yeah, this. This. Well, you, you actually have to be kind of mean to the totem pole, which is, like, actually you have to trap him. So you can get over here. You actually don't get over there. Just get up. And then you can get on the totem pole over here to press this button. Which does this. And then you can just... Uh, turn this around, and then turn the totem pole back up. For this part, you have to get both of the lights lighting up. The totem pole gets one, and you get the other. And then, what's next? This is what's next. You can get the totem pole to go over there. Ida over here, and then you get the totem pole, I believe, over right here. It's actually an illusion there. I cannot get Ida to press the next button, which brings out all of this. I actually don't remember what you do over here, so let me take some figuring out. Oh yes, yeah, right. Uh, you think you have to get Ida over here? How do you, I'm pretty, oh, you, you'd get the totem, yeah, that's right, you get the totem pole. I do remember getting the totem pole there, I just didn't remember how. You can get the totem pole to go up with Ida on top. How will the totem pole go? I don't actually know, but this part is so sad. I told you that this game gets sad, this is the sad part. So you go over here. And you've got a spike thing. But this is the sad part. Enjoy. Well, there's your sad part. And, perfect timing, because that's why I'm going to end this episode of, um, of Monument Valley. I hope you come back next time. Watch me play more Monument Valley. Do puzzles. And, bye.